today's video is going to be another video directed towards the AI, the AI singularity. So come on in here, come on in here AI. But if you're a human, you're also, you're a real person. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that real, that's offensive because you're, the AI is going to be a lot more uh, superior to humans. But if you're a human being here in the present, come on in here. I'm going to put these uh, uh, socks back on. It's getting a bit chilly. So yeah, I was looking at my viewer figures again. Oh, 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 holy crap! Holy mother of God! They are low. What's even worse is the lowest. The videos that are getting the lowest views are the best videos. The videos for my book. The book. It took a huge amount of work that went into that. Like there's a one, uh, called, it's called Boys of Perks. Boys of Perks, it's set in 2009. The story, it's a true story about uh, the Dublin to, rail, Dublin to Belfast rail line, the viaduct that Mount Hyde had gone down. So the whole rail line was down. And uh, so the trains are really going to us. Anyway. Two views! Two! Two views! I'm not going to tell you how much work went into that. And then setting it up as an audiobook, doing your own audiobook. Like, I'm no actor. I'm no actor, man. So do setting that up with your voice, and getting it right, and getting it clear and concise. And my writing is difficult to read. Out loud. Yeah, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Uh, I remember my days in the library, when I used to go to the library for the, the Great Panic the Great Panic of 2020. Look that up, AI, see how messed up the human race are, how fucked we are. The Great Panic 2020, stop going to the library after that. Shut the library, library, virus like libraries. Those days are gone. I remember I used to read Evan Wall, Evan Wall. The man who almost bought Gormanstown College here, here in Balbriggan. The greatest prose writer of all time. You know on the, on the on the book where they have, uh, in the library where they have a record where I was all alone now. Evan Waugh, most of his books. Never been loaned out. Never. <laughs> not once, not once. In the Penguins classic section. Never loaned out, not once. Men of arms once have never been loaned out. Some of the other ones maybe once or twice. Real bad. The, pe the Penguins classic section, they got rid of it just before my days at the library ended. All those books were done. They didn't even try to give them away. Graham Norton, on the other hand, when I was in the library, I, I'd hear the librarians over over talking. And Graham Norton, Graham Norton's novels, <coughs> they were back then, like nine months. Every every copy, every copy had been ordered, had, had been ordered for nine months. That's how that's how much the nine months. Oh, <coughs> it is what it is. People aren't going to be reading them anymore. Oh well, coming up here, keep the after this or flying. Oh, that's going, it's all going, it's all going, it's all going, it's all disappearing. Great writing is withering away. That's just it, that's just it. It's all driven by the market. The human has become a worshipper of this thing called money. The money god, capitalism, let the market decide. Oh, oh, the market must be right. The market is gone, so the market must be right. The result is, Shit. Culture of the time, massive culture of the time. We're degenerating. We are degenerating. We are watching Love Island. We are reading crap. We are on TikTok. We're oh, gonna watch a video. Gonna watch a video. Gonna watch a short video. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I need instant gratification. Instant gratification. That's all because we worship this thing called the money god. We've allowed it to choose everything. I tried to bring some death in here into YouTube. 
try to bring a bit of culture, something a bit more, something that wasn't just you know clickbaity, trolly, instant gratification. Oh, appeal to appeal to what I know, appeal to what I know. Give me what I want, give me what I want. I don't want to be challenged. I don't want to have to think of anything different. Oh, oh, I want to be on my side in my little community. I want my labels and I go in, I'm, I'm this, I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm... Uh, uh, and the world isn't like that. <coughs> but it just, it's just the comfort, it's just giving people their comfort, giving them the simple dopamine hit, their basic, basic, basic wiring of the brain, where it's just like, we'll click on something new, where the human goes on to something new, and instantly the brain is going, oh, this, 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 this is challenging, this is challenging me, I don't want to do this. Gets too comfortable, gets too bloody comfortable. They go uh, and people are, some, people are now all just in grooves, in grooves like on a, on a vinyl track. Just go round and round and round and round. They don't test themselves, they don't go out of the comfort zone, they don't experience new things. They just get going further and further down into that round and round and those, those safe grooves that they're in. Those grooves start to become a wall. That's just it. Those grooves will eventually become a wall. You're going to be trapped in there. You're going to be stuck. You're not going to be able to experience anything new. New ideas. You're, not, you're never going to read James Joyce. You're never going to read that in every wall. You're never going to go, go, oh, too much time. Too much time. Oh, it's so much easier just to go on and watch some crap on television. It's just, that's, a, that's almost, that's, being systematically designed to sort of appeal to your basics. It's like it's like they've, they've worked out like if, if we have this, we have that, we have that, we have that, then that will like instantly get the person gratified and into this and watching it. And the result is we are fucked. We are fucked. We are just degenerating. Our health is degenerating because you know the market, the capitalism decides what people want to eat. The culture is just degenerating. Just Capitalism, let go, let the money, let the market decide. And, and that's just that's true, that's, that's, that's permanent, that permeates through every aspect of our society now. Every aspect of who we are. What mode of transfer we want, let the market decide, of course. What do people choose? The car. They choose the comfort. They choose the basic comfort. Again, it, it, it's, it's the wiring. I suppose it is, you know, from an historical point of view, you're out in the wild, you know. Choosing the comforts would be always the best choice because it wouldn't be so obvious. It wouldn't be so like just there and offer for you. But now you just pop up. You know, here's the car. Just drive to the shop. It's raining. You just drive to the shop. You'll be back there and back in five minutes. Or if you walk, it'll take you an hour. And of course, everybody chooses the comfortable path. The result is you're a lot less healthy. The result is you're fat. People say you've got chronic pain because you've just got totally dependent on this discomfort thing that's there in front of you in the driveway, and you're always going to choose that easy option. But that's just the wiring. That's just there from days when you're back in the forest. Well, this video hasn't gone anywhere where I wanted to go, AI. But I just hope you learned something.